hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me today i will be memory planning for the week of august 23rd until the 29th which was this past week for me i am using this beautiful beautiful kit from scribble prints co this was one of my mystery subscription kits i have been holding on to it to hopefully use it a week that I went to the beach but sadly I don't think that's going to happen and I don't want to hold on to it too too long and then not get to use it so I decided on using it this week which I'm very excited for because I just think it's so beautiful and it did come with this foil bundle which I believe is champagne lights I could be wrong but um there is like these tropical leaves and then here is the icons and the scripts the bottom washi fancy headers and some date dots and then there is two boxes of I mean two sheets of bougie boxes but I already laid those down so there's just two extra here but I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the base and then I will talk you guys through the day by day. Alrighty guys, I am here to uh, let you know what happened this past week. So I did, of course, put the deco and all the um, overlays on off camera. So you will see those throughout the video. But starting off on Monday, of course, I filmed my weekly check-in. So I marked that with a label and a little YouTube icon. And then below that, I wanted to mark working on some orders. So I marked that with a third box and the work script. And then I did take those orders to the post office. So I marked that with a little thing and the envelope icon from the foil bundle. And then we are moving down to the bottom of Monday. Um, I did go over to George's house. So in this first... Um, I believe that's like a third box. It's a little bit bigger than a quarter box. Um, we did go to this place called Scoop Street, which they make funnel cakes there, but they also have ice cream, cookies. Like It's basically just like a dessert place. Um, and I didn't really know how to mark that, so I ended up using one of my crumble stickers that is available in my shop because we did get a cookies and cream funnel cake, so I went ahead and used the cookies and cream or the Oreo um, crumble cookie, which I drew myself. And then I just put down a piece of washi with the cuddle script that came in the foil bundle. And then the last thing I marked was um some planning i just wrote my to-do list for the next day and got prepped for tuesday so i marked that with a little thing and the little foiled planner and now we are on to tuesday which the first thing i marked was filming my plan with me of course that's always what i mark on tuesday mornings so i used a label this week with the planner sticker from the kit and then Evelyn did come over this day to help me with orders and we had grilled cheese for lunch so I wanted to mark that in. So I used a little thing with the fork and knife sticker and then of course we did do work so I marked that with a third box and the work script from the foil bundle. 
And then this night we went to work with George. So I marked that with a quarter box and the little car icon um, because we do, well, he does pick up trailers. So we pretty much just stay in his truck and just go with him and help him. Um, so I marked that in and then we did get Jack in the Box for dinner once we were all done. So I marked that in with a label and a little foiled takeout bag. And then the last thing I marked with a little thing and a little star icon was that I needed to get gas before going home, which I didn't really have anything to mark that which is why I used the star icon but it was important so I felt like that worked <laughs> but yes I did need to get gas on Tuesday night and then we are going to move on to Wednesday which Wednesday was another work day every day this week was a work day um so the first thing I marked was printing and cutting because I did need to get some stickers done for my planner friend. So I wanted to be sure to do that. So I marked that with a label and the laptop icon. And then below that, I used a patterned box with a Starbucks sticker from Planning Roses. To mark that Evelyn and I got Starbucks this morning which was our first fall drinks of the year also I did vlog this day so if you want to see this day like in real time you can watch my last shop vlog and I did vlog everything we did so we went to Starbucks and then once we got home we started working on cash envelopes so I marked that with a little thing and the um, money icon because they're cash envelopes so I feel like it works and I just always tend to run out of ways to mark work since I do work every day pretty much all day um, but in the evening Evelyn and I did get Subway for dinner so we went to 7-Eleven to get drinks and chips and then we went to Subway and got sandwiches and we ate our dinner at the park so I marked that in with a third box and the little takeout bag once again and then I used a little thing all the way down at the bottom with this little foiled coffee cup to mark that we went to get some drinks when I took Evelyn home um, it was me George and Evelyn and then the last thing in that label with the little violet sticker i did mark that we were just relaxing at home with violet those violet stickers are available in my shop if you're interested and now we are moving on to thursday through sunday so thursday i did sleep in so i marked that with with a piece of washi and a sleep mask sticker and then with a quarter box and a little coffee cup i marked my breakfast i had iced coffee and a muffin so that was super good and then I had to do some more printing and cutting for orders so I marked that with a little thing and a um, laptop icon and then down at the bottom of this day this day was kind of iconic I'm not gonna lie um if you have been here for a while you would have heard me complain multiple times about how hot my room is because I do have a sliding glass door on which pretty much takes up one of my entire walls and the sun does hit that wall all day until the sun goes down um so it does make it extremely hot in my room um we do have ac in our house but it doesn't do much um when the sun is just so hot so i finally bit the bullet and bought a portable ac for my room because it's just unbearable and i've lived here for almost eight years and every single summer it's the same thing so 
I marked buying the AC and setting it up with that quarter box and a little happy emoji. Um, I did get it from Best Buy. If you're curious, if you need a portable AC, they do have them at Best Buy. They also have them at Home Depot and Lowe's um, and on Amazon as well. But I did buy that and I'm so happy. I have no regrets. It's literally probably the best thing I've ever bought in my entire life. So there was that. Um, and then the last two things I marked on Thursday were FaceTiming Tara and Amanda and then designing my new releases, which were going up on Saturday. So I needed to get those done. And now we are on to Friday. So Friday morning, as always, I went to the bank so that I could film my cash stuffing. So I marked the bank with a little thing and a money icon. And then I used a flag and the camera sticker to mark filming my cash stuffing. And then I used this quarter box with a little star to mark cutting vinyl because we did do a bunch of cash envelope orders this day, which of course mean I have to cut a bunch of vinyl. And then I used a quarter box with a little fork and knife sticker to mark that Evelyn and I got Chipotle for dinner, which was delicious. And then again, we did spend some time with Violet. So I marked that with another quarter box, like a rounded one um, and a Violet sticker. And then I used this little thing with another car icon to mark going to work with George once again. And that was it for Friday. So moving on to the weekend, the first thing I marked on a Saturday was that I did need to print and cut all my new releases because this was new release day. So I marked that with a label and a little heart. Um, and then below that, I used a third box with the camera icon to mark new releases being live. I did have to, of course, take the listing photos as well as film the new release video so I felt like the camera worked for that um, and then in the la the last thing in this top box I used a little thing with the foiled phone icon to mark that I did FaceTime Tara and then we are going to move on to the bottom of Saturday which I did go to crumble this day which if you haven't noticed I hadn't gone yet this week so George and I did go to Crumble on Saturday and then um, I used a half box and the date script to mark that we also went to Islands for dinner this night which was delicious. I love Islands. If you have an Islands near you and you have never been I highly recommend. Also please get their chips and salsa as an appetizer because it's just the best. But yes, we did go there this night and that was my whole Saturday. So moving on to Sunday, the first very, very exciting thing is that I did book some flights this day right when I woke up um, for our next vacation. So I marked that in with a third box and this plane sticker, which was actually just um, in my leftover sticker book, so I'm not 100% sure what shop it's from, but pretty much every shop has like the same plain icon, so I did mark that, and then I did take a nap later in the day. It wasn't right after booking the flights, but um, I just marked it right after, so I used a piece of washi with the nap script to mark that, and then I did have to make a bunch of stuff for my little sister because she was running for spirit um, representative for her school. So um, we made her some t-shirts so she could hand them out, stickers, keychains, all that kind of stuff. So I marked that in with a appointment label and the little heart. Um, and then I did do some planning because it was Sunday, of course. So I marked that with a piece of washi and the planning time script. And then we had shrimp tacos for dinner. 
So I marked that in with a label and the fork and knife sticker. And then the last thing I marked on Sunday was that I did write down some of my open orders. So I marked that with a label and the little stack of books. And that is it for this week. Alrighty guys, that is the spread completely done. If you want to see it all filled out, be sure to head over to my Instagram, which is always listed down below in the description box. I am so incredibly happy with how this spread turned out and just so excited that I actually used this kit this year because I was getting a little stressed because I kept like putting it off, but I just love this art so so much and the foil just goes with it so perfectly and i am obsessed so if you guys liked this video of course be sure to give it a thumbs up also subscribe if you aren't already because we are so close to hitting 5,000 subscribers and i will be doing a giveaway once we hit it so that is all for today i will see you all very soon in my next video bye guys